Well, hello everybody. I'm Dr. Robert Butter, the Lifestyle Doctor. Today we'll be going through one of the questions in our 10 question series, Are You Healthy? The question today is, do you buy soft drink? Now you might think, what's that got to do with being healthy? Because buying soft drink isn't necessarily drinking it. True, true. But allow me to explain. Buying soft drink is a really good measure of your health for a couple of reasons. Well, let's say, for example, I was at a barbecue. And let's say that I was offered soft drink as the beverage of choice at the barbecue. Now, obviously, I would say, no, of course not, I'll have water. However, if I wasn't the amazing, amazingly self-disciplined person that I am, I may say, sure, I love soft drink. It's delicious. Give me all you can get. Now, I didn't choose to buy the soft drink, but I was offered it at a party, at a barbecue. Now, I may choose to have one or two glasses there. No real big deal. However, if I buy soft drink, and you can buy soft drink in two separate ways. One, you can buy it for immediate consumption at a local takeaway shop or when you're buying takeaway food, which makes the takeaway food even more unhealthy. Or you can buy it at the supermarket for consumption later on. Either way, it's not a good, good look. And it's not a great way of looking at your health because if you're buying soft drink, generally you're going to consume it. Now, let's say that you put in, put in, uh, put in context that occasional soft drink that you have at the barbecue. Then you throw in the one that you bought at the takeaway shop. Then you throw in the one that you bought at the, the whole bottle of Coke that you bought from the supermarket. When you put all these together, you're looking at major, major issues from soft drink. So buying soft drink is a really good measure. Now, there are people out there who do buy soft drink for their household, but don't consume it themselves. I guess my question for you would be, the people that you're buying it for, how much do you care about their health? How important are those people to you? Maybe you want to rethink that. You with me? Okay. Now, I guess the next question is, why is soft drink so bad? Why do we not want to drink it? Well, the first point is sugar. All right, There is a lot of sugar in soft drink. And everybody should know by now that sugar is bad for you. If you don't know that, sugar is bad for you. So stay away from soft drink. However, people then say, oh, but what about diet soft drink? Diet soft drink doesn't have any sugar in it, so it must be okay. Well, in order to keep the drink sweet, they add artificial sugar. And artificial sugar is basically chemical crap, which adds to the toxic load of your body. And research actually shows that artificial sugar causes you to gain weight faster and more weight than you would with just sugar. So diet drinks are just as bad, please stay away from them. Second thing that not a lot of people think about is that it's carbonated. Soft drink is a carbonated beverage. Now in order to make something have bubbles, they add the, the compound that makes it carbonated. Now the body will try to automatically compensate for the pH change that that creates. And it does that by leaching calcium out of your bones. That's why a car most carbonated beverages are actually terrible for you. So yes, this means that even mineral water is bad for you for those who love mineral water and think it's fantastic. It's not healthy for you. Thirdly, there's a lot of uh, negative health effects that have been associated with soft drink consumption. So we're looking at things like uh, tooth decay, uh, high blood pressure, or what's known as hypertension. Um, we're looking at problems with over being overweight. There's a whole range of issues associated with this. And Look, if you like those and you're happy with those risks, by all means, go ahead and drink as much soft drink as you want. But what this is associated with is, is pretty heavy stuff, and it will make a big difference to your health when you're consuming it. So, if you answered yes to my original question, do you buy soft drink? How are you going to answer it now? And are you going to continue to do so? I'm Dr. Robert Butter, the Lifestyle Doctor. Have a fantastic day, everyone.